Mark Watts with the lead, it's got a very good start indeed, as they go past us, it's Mark Watts with and Mick Nicholson behind them, Dave Lord and Ian Rutter and Paul Platt and the rest, but Mark Watts has got a very good start, and he's going to down the mountain road around the far side, Mick Nicholson going very well indeed, Ian Rutter pulling through very quickly, Paul Platt had a good start. So come on, Tim Brown driving hard round the outside, right round the outside, so the leaders at the end of lap one, it's Wetsworth from Mick Nicholson, then Ian Rutter, Dave Lord, Tim Brown, Paul Pratt, David Berry going inside, riding very hard and pulling up some places. Mm -hmm. And Nicholson from 91, Ian Rutter. Those the leading three then with Tim Brown driving hard, number 22 in fourth place, but it's Wadsworth in command. Then Nicholson, then Rutter, number obscure, then Dave Law, Tim Brown, Dave Perry, Andy Riley is next, number 54, Tim Perry at the end, very unhappy. Then the leader, Brian convincing margin, six laps, remember they go four in the finals. This is the 250 final, this is the leader, Mark Wadsworth. 344 four, drives off the bend. The rest struggling to keep him inside. The battle for second. Ian Rutter goes ahead of Mick Nicholson. So Rutter second. Nicholson is third. Then Perry, Law, Tim Brown, Riley, Paul Fox dropped out to the reckoning a bit. Seven, two, five, three, two, 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 so the leader then with a lead of about 40 metres, Mark Wadsworth, the current British title holder in this class, on the 250 Yamaha, the leader. Second now Ian Rutter, number 91. Third Mick Nicholson, 34. Fourth Dave Murray, 419. Then Riley, Andy Riley, then number 54. Last lap flag being made ready. And then Mark Wadsworth still comfortably in front. Takes the last lap flag. Second place still 91 Ian Rutter, then 34 Mick Nicholson, 419 Perry, 54 Riley, 22 Tim Brown dropping back, then 414 Dave Law, 81 The field stringing out in the first victory in the final, a convincing victory to start his afternoon's racing for 344 Mark Wadsworth. Wadsworth on the Yamaha wins it then. Second place is going to Ian Rutter, but Dave Perry cut it through, Nicholson third, Perry is fourth. Fifth number 54 is Andy Riley. And behind him, number 414 is Dave Law, which is 34, Mick Nicholson, 227, Robin Davis, Heat 3, 419, Perry, Dave Perry, 15, Graham Wells, 118, Mick Moat, then John Underwood, Brian Smith, and Dave Law, bring it up, six laps, they go for this, the 250 final, John Underwood, a good start, from Dave Lord and Graham Wilson, and Gerald Short, and Dave Perry, as they go into the top end. 50 runner, Gerald Short in second place. As they go down the far side, third is Graham Wilson, fourth is David Perry, fifth is Dave Lord. Six looks like Robin Davis with the two white armbands. So then, it's Underwood the leader then, from Short, Wilson, Perry, Robin Davis, Dave Lord, Colin Hughes, Brown Davis. Now he really joined because there goes Gerald Short, dives inside John Underwood, can he hold him? John Underwood, remember, is a very, very canny 350 runner. Gerald Short does it again, takes the lead on the home group 350. Short the leader for Underwood. Third is Wilson, fourth is Perry, fifth is Robin Davis. Those five breaks down. Everyone is up in this game. Can Gerald take this one on the 350 short power machine? Right, this is the one to look at. Gerald Short the leader then. Celebrating 10 years in grass track racing. This is the meeting where he made his debut 10 years ago. Gerald Short leads it. Second is John Underwood. Third is Dave Perry. Where well, Wilson copying out. Fourth is Colin Hughes. Fifth is Brad Davis. Sixth is Dave Lord. So it's still Gerald Short from John Underwood. Short remember on the special second place John Underwood on the last night. Short third, third place man Dave Perry. We've lost Graham Wilson. That's hard luck on the northern rider. Short still the leader then. Underwood in second place. Go Perry back in third. Anyway now from Colin Hughes on the McDonnell Targo. Brad Davis, Brian Smith, Dave Lord and Kev Morgan. But still, one and a bit laps to go. George Short the leader. It's going to be a tremendous win if he can make that a winning motor on this. It's really race debut. Gerald Short the leader, John Underwood in second place. Short, half a lap to go, so let's have a cheer for this one. It isn't just an ordinary 350 win, it's the culmination of several years' work to get that engine race ready. It's great stuff by Gerald Short and his father. They've done it, they've put together a winning 350 motor. Well done, Gerald. Second is John Underwood. Dave Perry going a little bit wide. Third. 
Fourth is Colin Hughes, fifth is Brad Davis, sixth is Pine Smith, seven Dave Lord, and eighth Ted Walker. Oh, sorry, Wayne Broadhurst, 158. Strong heat. This, can David Perry repeat what he did last night when he really blew everybody off? He had so much power. Pat McCann, the leader, David Perry second, then Chris Pitcock third, Pat McCann led then at the end of the first part of the game. He's coming under pressure by a whole bunch of riders behind him. But number no, Dave Perry in trouble then slowed considerably and the rest went round him. I think he seized it. Dave Perry in considerable bother there, stopped abruptly. And it's 33 from 64 from 74. That's very hard on Dave Perry. Very strong man, which is another Evans, so it's Paul Evans, and uh, number 74 in the yellow, who's looking good from Pat McCann on the outside. So let's see. Graham Wilson in second, it's McCann from Graham Wilson, and Paul Evans in third. Fourth is Gary Finlow, fifth is Phil Wilde. Now, Thunder Lake is going into the lead in yellow. Pat McCann second. Third is Paul Evans. Fourth is Phil Wilde. Fifth is Guy Finlow. As they go to the last lap, then Graham Wilson leads. Pat McCann second. Paul Evans third. Phil Wilde after fourth ahead of Gary Finlow. So that looks as though I don't finish. Second place man Paul Evans. And third place man Pat McCann. That's the order they're going to finish. They'll go through to the semi-final. Wilson wins it. Second place goes to Evans. Third is Pat McCann. Strong 500 line up this afternoon at the Beauty Bonanza. The first time we've seen top class grass track in the Midlands this year. After such an awful spring, so many meetings cancelled. This one perhaps the one to look forward to. And the 500 racing this afternoon is going to be absolutely super. Right, off go the 500s again. Clayton Williams, he's the man. Lifts the front wheel, powers to the front. Rob Fortune with him. So too is Rob. Stacey. Rob Fortune in second place. Rob Stacey is third. Look for Clint Ward. He's back in about sixth at the moment. But that's Clayton Williams driving. I don't think he even eases up. Drives it on full power. Second is Rob Fortune. Third is Rob Stacey. The band drives it in, keeps the power all the way around, lifts the front wheel past us, very much on form. Clayton Williams the leader, Rob Fortune in second, Stacey is third, Williams in fourth, Clint Ward is fifth, behind Clint Ward is Keith Anderson in sixth place, so Clint Ward in the last qualified place at the moment. And then Clayton Williams then comes the power and watches the come up as he goes into the band, drives on round the band. It'll be a quick man to stay with him today. Clayton Williams already into the last lap. He can take it easy. He's going to lap some people in a minute. 14 seconds, Rob Stacey third, Clint Ward now fourth. Last qualifier is Mark Williams in third. Behind him, number one, he's done with Richard Schell, and then he's set back to the numbers. Then at the end of what's been virtually a demonstration ride, Clayton Williams shuts off, takes it easy, takes the checkered flag, no problem. Second place there is going to go to a fine ride by Rob Fortune from Worcester. Third is Stacey, fourth is Ward, and fifth is Williamson. No sign of place, Rob Those three already putting out. Rob Price really knows how to put it together, but uh, at the moment it's him from Dolman and Mark Lewis. And in fourth place behind them is Tony Forward. Which is Bob Dolman, who both the boat in the British Masters last year, with third place man Mark Lewis, fourth place man Tony Forward. So then, it's Bob Dolman moves through. Bob Dolman is the last man. Bob Rob Price, third place man down there. Sport 24 with him. Fifth is Rob Dolman. Dazed. 
Simon Cross, the man featured on the front cover of your programme, he really does motor, he's Clayton Williams' cousin, there are obvious similarities there, he rides for Weymouth Speedway, Simon Cross, leads Mark Wadsworth in second place. And then, surely, at this pace, nobody can catch Simon Cross. Look at the power he's got. Simon Cross, the leader then, Mark Wadsworth. Second place. 
as they come into the first band. Martin Hagen versus Craig Williams. Tremendous start. Hagen needs William to suck and cross his board. John Craig. These three join away. Hagen the leader man with Kate Williams second side across coming charging through to join them. But the leading three. After them comes 77 price. 51 on the side. The red flag is up, the race will start. The fall is Clayton Williams, I think is gone. Simon Cross is certainly out of it, the race is being stopped. Simon Cross on his feet over there. action happening in the dust. I can see Simon Cross on his feet retrieving the machine and the race has been stopped ladies and gentlemen with the red flag so as soon as I have any information I will of course let you know. On the line they go then. It's without Clayton Williams and that's very sad indeed but the other riders are up to the lines. So who's it going to be at the rerun of the 500 final? Clayton Williams started up and watching it. And it's Martin Hagen who goes into the lead. Martin Hagen gets an immediate lead. Mark Bullman got a very good start. So too did uh, John Jackson. Let's see as they come round to complete lap one. It's Martin Hagen leads and really flying. Joined on Mark Bullman and Rob Price. But the man in front, Martin Hagen, the man in second place, the surprise of the afternoon's racing, Mark Bullman from Norfolk. Let's see if he can hold on to this. Martin Hagen leads, Mark Bullman is second, Simon Cross is now third, Rob Price is fourth, Chris is turning forward, Six is out of the This is the second place man, 21 year old Mark Wilner from Dis in Norfolk, first time over here in the Midlands. And at the moment then, it's still Martin Hagen who leads. Second is Mark Wilner, third is Simon Cross. And the Gloucestershire teenager already passes Mark Bill into second. He's got his sights set now, I believe, to Martin Hagen. So Simon Cross second. Third place Mark Bill at 57. Fourth one price. 52 back, six turning forward. Set back to Riley. And last man, John Jackson. So the loser, Martin Hagen. Second place, Simon Cross. One in the mid maps to go. Martin Hagen, the leader, seems to have it under control. But Simon Cross is closing all the time. Martin Hagen, the leader, though, Cross in second place with the rear final glass flapping. Third is Martin Hagen's going to go GP, the Grand Prix winner wins the 500. Second is Simon Cross, lost all the back number plate now. Third is Mark Bilner. Fourth place is Rob Price. Fifth is the rapidly improving Tim Brown. Sixth number 54 is Andy Riley. Almost perhaps anywhere this year. The last final of the day, and here they go, ladies and gentlemen. Who's it going to be? Simon Cross and Martin Hagen. Martin Hagen gets a good start. So does Bob Dolman. Simon Cross tucked well on the inside. This is a tremendous race in prospect. Hagen the leader, then crossing second, Rob Price here, Bob Dolman is fourth, Mark Dolman is fifth, Dave Perry is sixth, as they come off the bend to complete lap one. Dave Perry and Bob Dolman, I think, just touching elbows there as they came up the bend. Simon Cross the leader, Martin Hagen in second. Now then, what's it going to be this time? Cross the leader, flies away. Simon Cross from Boston Chilis, Martin Hagen. Third round price, fourth round, and fifth round price. Six round, seven, two, nine, eight, nine, 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 n